Hello again. Do you like my hair? What about my nose? Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to read a story for you today again. Let's listen. The little red hen makes a pizza. Do you like pizza? You do? I do too. Look at the picture and then I will read. The little red hen had eaten the last slice of her tasty loaf of bread. She'd sipped a cup of chickweed tea and taken her nap. Now she was hungry again. So she scratched through her cupboard and spied a can of tomato sauce. There it is. Why don't I make a lovely little pizza? She said to herself. Mm, have you tried to make pizza with your mommies and daddies at home? Oh, if you haven't tried, it's so much fun. Look at the pictures. She rummaged through her pen drawer. There were bread pans, cake pans, muffin pans, frying pans, all kind of pans, but not one single pan was large and round and flat. Cluck, she said, I need a pizza pan. She stuck her head out of the window. Good morning, she called. Does anybody have a pizza pan? So she called to her friends, look at her friends. And guess what they say? Not I, said the duck. There it is. Not I, said the dog. Not I said the cat. Very well then, I'll fetch one myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the hardware store, she bought a pizza pan, a large mixing bowl, a pizza slicer, and some other stuff. Look, it's all here. See? Mm -hmm. When she got home, she opened the cupboard. She saw beans and rice, sugar and spices, jars of jam and jars of honey, and even pickled eggplant, but no flour. Cluck, she said, I need flour. So she stuck her head out of the window again. Hello, she said. Who'll run to the store and get me some flour? Look at her friends. They're busy, busy doing their own stuff. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Mm -mm, not going to the store. Ah, oh, very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the supermarket. She bought some flour, some salt, some oil, and some other stuff. Oh, look at this. It's full of different things, including tulips, the flowers, you see? Yeah, it happens sometimes when you go to the store to buy one thing and you end up buying this many, right? Your mommies and daddies will understand. When she got home, she opened the fridge. Cluck, she said. There's cream cheese, blue cheese, string cheese, and Swiss cheese, but no mozzarella. So, oopsie, Davy. She stuck her head out of the window again. Excuse me, she said. Who will go to the, store, to the store and buy me some mozzarella? Look at her friends. What are they doing? Chilling out outside. So, not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. 
Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little bit. So the little red hen went to the delicatessen. She bought some mozzarella, pepperoni, and olives. Some, there are there. Some mushrooms and onions and garlic, a can of eight small uh, anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant <laughs> because she had one already, remember? So when she got home, the little red hen put on her apron and stuck her head out of the window. Good afternoon, she said. Who will help me make some pizza dough? Guess what her friend said. Did he say yes? Mm -mm. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Very well then. I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. Mm. Little red hen working hard making pizza pizza dough. So she put the flour and some other stuff into her mixing bowl and stirred and mixed and mixed and kneaded and kneaded and pounded until she had a big bowl of pizza dough. There it is. After the dough rose, the little red hen rolled it flat and folded it and rolled it again and spun it around her head several times. When the dough was just right, she tossed it way up in the air one last time for good luck and put it in her pizza pan. <gasps> Look, she just tossed it up in the air. It goes, Woo! so she caught it and put it in, uh, in her pizza pan. Then she stuck her head out of the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will help me make the topping? Mm, guess what they say. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Very well then. I'll make it to my, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. You see, her friends are not helping at all. Is it nice? Mm, not very, right? So she chopped and grated and grated and sliced, look, mushrooms and onions and cheese and pepperoni. She opened a can of tomato sauce. So, and spread it all over the pizza dough. On top of that, she put some grated mozzarella, some sliced pepperoni, some chopped olives, some mushrooms, some onions and garlic, eight small anchovies and some other stuff. But no pickled eggplant. The little red hen looked at her pizza. It looked just right. So she put it in the oven and sat down to sip a tea of chickweed uh, to sip a cup of chickweed tea. So she put it in the oven. There is the oven. And look, ah, the delicious scent is just going ooh, out through the window. And there's a little red, red hen drinking her tea. So pretty soon, a delicious smell drifted from the oven. It filled the room and floated out the window. My lovely little pizza must be ready, she thought. Look at her, she's smiling, waiting for her pizza, yum, yum. Oh, wow, look at this. You see, it's so big. So it was lovely, but it wasn't little. It was huge, right? And look, 
she is surprised that it that it uh, that it turned to be so big. So she stuck her head out the window. Good evening, she said. Would anybody like some pizza? Can you guess what they said? Can you guess what the dog said? And the duck? And the cat? Mm? They all said, yes, right you are, of course. But the cat scrapped most of the topping of his chair. <gasps> Oops, I think I missed the page. Let's go down. <gasps> okay. But when the pizza was all gone, the little red hen made herself another cup of chickweed tea. Then she asked, who will help me do the dishes? Now, can you guess what the duck, the dog, and the cat said? Hmm? I don't know. Let's all see. Because they've eaten pizza. <gasps> Look, they each said, I will, said the cat. I will, said the duck. I will, said the dog. Wow. That's very nice. And they did. Look. So they were washing and putting everything back to their spots. And during that time, the, the little red hen was just listening to music, enjoying the time. That's nice, right? To help others. Did you like the book? I hope you did. All right. See you next time.